This video will go over how to create a secure Teams meeting or a set or series of meetings in Microsoft Teams. It's important first that you watch the first video of this series, which goes over how to create a class team and connect it back to the VLE. So please ensure you've done that before going forward with this. So now that you have your class team set up, how do you create a meeting that students would come to each day if we were in a remote teaching model? So what you want to do is start by going to your class team. So I have it here uh, that I've set up as a, a test. And you actually have two different ways that you can create a series of meetings. The first is again, being in your team, coming up right over here, clicking the down arrow and schedule a meeting. And what it will do is it will automatically put our test class as participants in this meeting. So because you've already added all the kids to this test, uh, or sorry, to your class team, they will automatically be included on any, um, any meeting that you set forth with this in it. Now, the other way to do it, just so you know, because there are two ways, you could also go to your calendar, go up here, press the down arrow, and go to schedule a meeting. And the only change is you'll notice that the class, your class team is not added to this automatically because we didn't go through the team's venue. So all you need to do is just type in test class and you have to make sure you click on the general channel that will include all of your students. And that's it, now they'll all be invited. So I'm gonna do AM period, assuming that this is a maybe a secondary class where I'm running an AMP uh, and PM. If you are elementary, you might just one, you know, one, uh, one meeting for the entire day that you kind of come to and leave. I do not need to add required attendees because they are, all of the students are being added through this uh, piece right here. Now let's assume that my class starts on the 21st of December and at 9 a.m. and it goes to 11. The other piece I want to do is I want to make it so it's reoccurring. I don't want to have to do this every single day for every AM period class. I want it to repeat every day with the same settings that we are about to set up. So I just have to click on the down arrow and I want to make it run every weekday, Monday to Friday. Now, if there is a day like a PD day or a holiday where you are not going to be obviously starting class, that's totally okay. It will just show up in the calendar you as the teacher are the gatekeeper to the meeting or we're going to set it up that way so that means that your students can't start the meeting without you so on the days that there's a pd day or a holiday and it shows up in the calendar it will just show up in the calendar that's it it, it doesn't mean that the students still have access and can, can come and go as they wish don't need to add a location if you don't want. And then obviously notes, this is the notes that students will see in their calendar as well. So if you wanna you know, detail what this meeting is for, that's up to you. And at that point, we're done setting up the initial part of it. So we wanna go up to send, and what will happen is all of the students in your class team will be sent an email with a link to this specific meeting. Um, and it will tell them you know, when it is and how it's repeating and everything like that. They will also all of a sudden see it in their calendar in Teams as well. So I'm going to do that. So all of my students in my class team will have gotten it. And in my own calendar, if I scroll to next week, sorry, if I click to next week, I will now see that my uh, meeting is set up Monday to Friday moving forward. You know, if I go into the last week of December into January, it's there every single day. And now we need to make it more secure. So what we do is we now are go to calendar and click on any of the buttons, any of the meetings uh, that exist across Monday to Friday, it doesn't matter, click on it and you wanna go to edit, press the down arrow and you wanna edit the series, this is important. If you only edit the occurrence, you will only be setting up parameters around the particular meeting on December 23rd clicking on series, it will impact the entire series. So edit series, and we're back to the same screen, but with a few changes. You're now going to see that you actually have a link provided to you, so you could right click and copy the link. Um, in general, we do not suggest that to, uh, to do it that way. Um, the reason being is that means the link to that meeting is kind of out there. We're still gonna secure it so people can't just get in, 
But in general, the best workflow is based on uh, the first uh, video of this series where you have students instead go in through the VLE, they click on the nav bar icon that you've created and it will bring them to their class team. And from there, they'll be able to actually see that the meeting is running. There'll be a little icon up here that's saying class in, you know, in progress. They just have to press join or they can go to calendar and join it that way. They never need to actually have the link um, provided. But the other thing that's uh, populated is this now. The meeting options populates once you've sent out the uh, meeting. And uh, this is what's going to allow us to secure the meeting. So we're going to pr uh, press that. Now, if you are on a Mac, just because I am currently, this will pop up if you are in Safari. It actually doesn't work within Safari. So you just copy the link and you can open up, um, you can open up um, Chrome. If you are on a board provided device, this will just pop up automatically. And this gives you a few key options on how best to secure your team and make it so it's a better um, environment for classroom management. So the first piece is who can bypass the lobby. And right now, by default, anyone with a Grand Erie email address signed in will be able to bypass the lobby. So every one of our students will be able to bypass. You can absolutely have that set. Um, we suggest you actually make it so that only you can bypass the lobby. And what that will mean is students will have to wait in the lobby. It basically makes a little um, message that says, um, you know, waiting for you to be uh, accepted into the meeting or some, some sort of phrase like that. Um, and you have to go through that for each student. So on your end, once you've started the meeting, you just have to go to the participants button and let them in uh, by pressing a check mark beside their name. The, that might sound a little encumbersome, but the value of it is a lot of our VLE teachers we've heard um, who are doing this like it for attendance. So they can, as they go through and admit people, they can take their attendance easily. The other piece is it makes students a little more accountable if they are late because the teacher has to admit them in. And so they will know that they are late versus just kind of sneaking into the, the meeting, you know, 10, 15 or even later. So. That's a really good piece there. The other important part of the lobby is classroom management. If you have a student acting up um, on the chat or you know they're doing something that's inappropriate in the camera or mic, you could remove them from the, the meeting and they won't be able to get back in uh, by having this on. So they can't, they can't keep coming in and, and, and causing an issue. Um, this way you can remove them and uh, you know just meet with them one-on-one -on -one when uh, time permits. The next piece, um, callers uh, join or leave. You won't have any callers, so this doesn't matter. Who can present? This is the important one right here. By default, everyone in Grand Erie can present. So what that means is all of your students coming into a meeting will be able to uh, share their screen, mute other uh, students, um, uh, kick other students out of the meeting. Uh, you know, they can do all of the things that you can do as the teacher. So what we want to do instead is press the down arrow and we want to make only you as the teacher, um, the presenter. By default then, to, uh, when students come into a meeting, they will become attendees and that attendees only have the ability to, you know, use their mic, their camera, speak in the chat and that's it. Um, and uh, if you do want to make a, a student a presenter uh, for a short time because you have them doing presentations or something like that, you still are able to within the meeting. So within the meeting, again, you go to the participants uh, button and you click on the uh, student and make them a participant for as long as you'd like. Last piece right here, uh, by default, if you mute students, they can unmute themselves. If you would like that to not be a thing, you can turn it off. So if you mute a student, they will no longer be able to um, unmute until you choose to. So in general, I would have that as no, they can't unmute themselves. Press save, and you've now secured your meeting much more than it was before. And what's nice is this uh, sets the parameters for all of your meetings in all of the series. So you don't have to do this each day. And that's it. You now have a secure meeting set up, ready to go. When you're ready to start your meeting, all you have to do is go to the calendar, click on the link and press join. You can join it before 9 a.m. if you want on that day. So if you want to start at 845, you can press join. It will just extend the meeting. All the students who are currently in Teams uh, with it loaded, they'll get a little icon saying that the meeting has started and they can start to jump in.